All right, welcome back here with the folks from Wonderworks. Carinza Archer is here to talk about bending water and static electricity. Wow, and so Caroline, I think you heard love science, so I'm so glad that you two are together. Yeah, oh, we're really excited to be here. So bending water today, we've got a special cap that's on top of the water bottle. So this is something that you can make a portable experiment anytime. And what I'm gonna do is we turn it upside down and the water comes out. Cause you just have a little hole in the top. You got yeah, it. Correct. Okay, mm -hmm. just a little hole just in the very top right there. Make sure it's as tight as it can go. All right, and I'm gonna let you charge up that balloon with static electricity, any ideas? <laughs> oh, that should be perfect. Okay. All right, here we go. And do you know what part you charged up? This part. That part right there? All right, we'll give it a go. Just hold it right up to that water. Do it the, the other side for me. Oh, it's bending towards you. Charge Wait. it up, give it a good charge Charge again. it up, I'm gonna help you with this Ooh. one. That we really, my hair already has static electricity. So what's holding on that side? Right, here, here we go. go. See it bending? It's making a little curve right there. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Oh, we could pour it on our hair and not have static right, electricity. Right, right. Let me get it to go here. <laughs> Russell knows how your hair is not yeah, getting no, messed up. The women are all getting their hair. We're all sacrificing. See it bending yeah, toward? That's cool. Yeah, there it goes. You Sweet. want to give it a try? You got it. If we get it, so it's a little bit humid today. It's not. It's not really, really dry like we normally have. Really, really cold temperatures this time of year. So but you can just do this at home. Good. It's super fun. You, you need a balloon sure and some water. Yep. And some static electricity. You got it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right, very good. What you got going at Wonderworks? Well, um, we've always got something going around uh, or going on uh, inside. We've always got new exhibits and new things to check out. Um, we have a sensory day coming up, uh, not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. It's February the 9th. Um, and that is a day where at 2 p.m. we're going to adjust all of our exhibits in, inside, or many of our exhibits. The tunnel will not turn. Um, uh, okay. We'll uh, adjust some different things so that they don't go upside down, so that those folks that have uh, issues with sensitivities to uh, sensory stimulation will be able to enjoy it. Just kind of take it down yeah, a little bit. Absolutely. That's really nice. Absolutely. Is that glass for something, or do I just imagine that? Well, um, it gives us a, a game that we can play oh. um, to make the water go. <laughs> a certain direction. <laughs> You're getting more static. And it's it like playing right. basketball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need a dunk. It goes in the it goes in it a certain works, spot. Yeah. <laughs> Caroline, have you ever been to Wonderworks? No. Oh my goodness, you need to go up there. It's pretty fun. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's kind of the opposite of the farm though. There's a lot of uh, machines and mm -hmm. lights and but it's there's if you love science, you would really love it. It'd have be ever, pretty cool. Have you ever felt an earthquake or hurricane winds? No. Or touched lightning? No. You can do all of those things mm -hmm. in one Do it works. there. <laughs> all right. Tell us again when the, the sensory day is. Sensory day, day is going to be not this Sunday, but next Sunday, February the 9th. It will begin at 2 p.m. and go until 6 p.m. And it's a $10 rate to go in. And just show up and buy your tickets then. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you great. got it. Thanks so much, so much for coming in. It's yeah. been fun. Thanks Thank for sharing you for your experiment. Us. It was great. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you again.